guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see new here this bob wig right here um it was actually 12 inches but i did cut it for it to be like more of a bobbish more shorter bob look so if you guys are interested in seeing how i achieve this look make sure you guys keep on watching make sure you guys go in the description box down below because i do have the links to anything um about this hair and also the company and i do also have a coupon code so make sure you guys go check that out and let's get in so I am going to be unboxing a wig for you guys. I'm in love with the color. It's a pretty pink. And I do love how behind the box it shows you how to take care of the wig. It came with a wig cap, which is my color. Thank you. And it also came with a blonde highlighted 12 inch wig. So this is a closure actually, guys. Um, it does come with the little combs in the wigs. And it does have adjustable straps. So you can make sure that the wig fits your head perfectly. Um, I'm using 30 volume developer and blue bleach. I use blue bleach for all my installs, but I'm using 30 volume developer at this in for this install. This is how the knots looked once it was finished bleaching. I left the bleach on for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go in with my shimmer like shampoo to make sure I tone the bleach. I mean, I toned the knots, my, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to just leave that on there for about 20 minutes. The same amount of time I left the bleach on there for. And it came out really nice, guys. This is how the hair looked the next day. I let it fully air dry. And I'm just going in and pre-prepping the wig. Because I feel like it's easier when you pre prep the wig then trying to do everything once you're trying to install it so i'm just going in and uh, i'm using my wax stick and i'm going to make sure everything is flat as possible this is a bob this is a closure we want to make sure everything is flat as possible so that's what you see me doing here So now we're going to get into the install. I am going to be using the wig cap method, the ball cap method. I keep saying wig cap, the ball cap method in this installation. You guys don't have to use the ball cap method. You guys can just put the wig on your head or you can just put the wig cap on your head and then put the wig on your head without having to glue it down with the got to be. But that's the method that I have decided to use. So I'm going to be taking my foundation. I'm going to be applying that all over my wig cap. I usually go ahead and put the same foundation on the back of the lace um, of my wigs. But I didn't do it for this install. But you guys can do that also. So after I finish cutting the wig cap, you want to use some alcohol or toner or peroxide, whatever you have. And you want to make sure you clean up your forehead before you begin gluing because there's a bunch of got to be makeup, all that stuff from the steps that you previously did. So I just went ahead and cleaned up a little bit. And then we're going to go on to gluing down the wig cap and the wig. Just for some more security, I'm going to be taking my got to be spray and spraying that along the hairline of my wig, as you guys can see what that I'm doing now. And I'm going to be also taking my elastic band and I'm going to be putting that right where I sprayed the got to be. And then I'm going to be tying that and I left it on for about 10 to 15 minutes as I did other things that you guys are going to see throughout the video. But I suggest everybody get an elastic band because it really does make a difference in this installation.
all right guys so this is where it gets a little tricky so i'm going to be taking my clippers and i'm going to be making this into a straighter bob and a shorter bob now if you guys don't have anybody to help you i suggest getting somebody to help you but if you don't have anybody to help you you know you guys can use scissors or clippers i feel like clippers are easier in my in my opinion but everybody is different so if you feel like you can cut better with scissors you can go ahead and do that but i use the clippers and i'm just going and going piece by piece i'm not trying to just cut the whole thing i'm going piece by piece because you want to make sure the bob is straight and it's not slanted or messed up um i also used a little mirror as you guys can see to make sure i got the back of my hair and everything was straight So now that we're done cutting, I'm just going to be going in with my flat iron and bumping the ends a little bit as well as straightening the hair. Make sure everything is straight, flat, good. And yeah, guys, it looks really good so far. Now that I finished all that, I am going to be taking off the elastic band and then I'm going to be cutting down the middle and cutting off all the excess lace that I don't need. You just want to make sure you get as much lace off as possible. Trust me, you don't need the lace at all. Like you really don't. So you want to make sure you cut all the lace off and then I'm going to be going back in with my alcohol and I'm just going to be cleaning up all the extra stuff. As you guys can see, I just cleaned up all that stuff, all that makeup, the guts to be and all that. You going in with my hot comb, making sure everything is flat and we're pretty much done guys. here i'm just going back with my clippers and cleaning up some stuff because i noticed i missed a couple parts so i'm just going back in and making sure everything is cut straight and yeah guys that's pretty much it once i finish this i'm basically done with the hair Alright guys, so this is how the hair came out. So like, purr. I haven't had a bob in a minute. Like, this is so cute. The only thing that I didn't show you guys in the video was um, how I fixed the middle part to make it more like defined a little bit. But this is how the hair looks. It's gonna run for y'all. Stiff well nowhere all right guys so that's the end of my video make sure you guys go check out hair and beauty all the links to their company will be in the description down below also the direct link to this wig will also be in the description down below also i do have a coupon code so make sure you guys go check that out and until next time see.